It's the radio guy, Mike Prince. Welcome to Football Friday here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. We're going to have some football, of course, but we're also going to hear from Coach Sandy Pugh on today. We come to you each and every day, of course, right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our social media handles on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter are all at the Mike Prince Show. The YouTube channel is Open Mic Broadcast Network. Our website is obnradio.com and our 24-hour dial-in message line, 713-570-6736. And without any further delay, we're going to jump right into today's episode. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is Friday. Hopefully you've had a fantastic week headed into an even greater weekend. We know college football season is officially over, or is it? The Senior Bowl is this weekend. A lot of guys will get a chance to display their talents to try to impress some scouts for the last time before we're into the draft. And the way football is now, you could literally talk about football all year long. I guess my question is, how many of you actually watch the Senior Bowl? How many of you pay full detail? And I could imagine if you have someone that you know or have an interest that you've been tracking, has an opportunity to go and display their skills. It's an opportunity for people to display their skill sets, especially if you're from the FCS rank or the group of five ranks. Because we know that a lot of attention and detail is paid to the Power Five conferences, and deservedly so to a degree. But it'd be interested to see how many of you will actually partake and watch the Senior Bowl this weekend on the NFL Network. National Signing Day will be on February the 5th. The Panthers are planning an event in the Houston area. We're still waiting on the details and information about that. And as soon as we get more clarity on that, we will no doubt pass that right on to you guys. We're going to pause just for a moment. And when we come back, we'll hear from Coach Sandy Pugh, head basketball coach of Panthers women's basketball, as they make their preparations for the weekend homestand carrying over to Monday against the Arkansas Pine Bluff Golden Lions and the Mississippi Valley Devilettes. You listen to the Mike Prince Show Friday football edition. We'll be right back. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the radio guy, Dr. Mike Prince. Of course, we try to keep you in tune and up to date with the world of Prairie View Athletics. We have on the line with us Coach Sandy Pugh, head basketball coach for the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. How are you doing today, Coach? Doing great, Mike. All right, all right. I know you're a busy, busy person, and uh, we're going to just, as I say, jump right into this thing. Not the ideal start that you want to have to start the season off, but it is a season of progression collectively, if the season were to end today, you would qualify for the tournament. So get us up to speed on what things are looking like and shaping up in the world of PV basketball. Well, as you said before, well, definitely was not the start we anticipated. You know, I said our first three games were riddled with turnovers, miscues, and missed shots. We've been plagued all season with missed shots. However, during the preseason, we uh, had done a very good job of taking care of the basketball. Those first three games, when you're averaging 24, 25 plus turnovers, you're not going to be very good and you're not going to beat very many people. We also were not getting out in fast break and getting any easy, so everything was having to come out of the half-court set. We were struggling there. So, um Alcorn came in here and jumped on top of us, saying that in spite of our, all of our mis- miscues and woes, I felt like we still should have won it on the stretch. We just didn't do some things that you need to do to close out some games because we went into the fourth quarter up. 
the, the other two games, I just felt like we were just completely out of sync. Just then, I made some changes at the point guard position, um, try to get a little more leadership at that role, um, try to put some people in the in the in the game who can do a a better job of containing the other team's players. You know, and I and I say that, and I also say this. You know, this conference has really gotten so much better in terms of basketball. There are no cupcakes in this conference anymore. Everybody in this conference had preseason Division One wins. You know, that, and that says a lot when you can go out on another team's court and defeat them. You know, we played Jackson State. I thought we played well enough to beat them. A little, got a little disoriented down the stretch, had about five possessions that I really wish we could have gotten back where we didn't score the basketball. And, of course, they had a fan base there, and, you know, they got excited and hit a couple of shots, and they got to the free throw line. I thought that was a difference in that game. The Gremlin game, we went in, did what we were supposed to do, uh, played a good Gremlin team, held them, held them down. You know, we one of the top teams in our league in defense. So I was really proud of that effort. But, you know, we've got to put together a string of uh, wins here. We have two games coming up Saturday and Monday at home. we got to have those, both of those and uh, get back to the middle of the pack. We able to finish first in this conference this year? You know, who's to say? I know for sure we can definitely be in the top and host that that first round game that that's our challenge now that's that's our focus to get there you know this team reminds me a lot of Auburn from last year you know Bruce Pearl had this phenomenal group of guys and they struggled you know the pieces weren't fitting they were up and down all season and then come tournament time all of a sudden they just lit fire you know I'm hopeful that that that's going to be a scenario for this team because I think we have all the pieces we need. We just have to continue to grind and working to, as a unit. You know, we, we this, this, I said this before about this group of kids. I think they're too nice. You know, I think that's part of it. You know, I think once we get a little, we got a little dirt on us at the beginning of the conference. So, you know, we, we're trying to turn this thing around and, and grind. I thought we played, you know, Jackson State is probably the, if not the best, then that second best team in the league. Texas Southern is right there, and so is Southern. So when you look at who we've played, you've played the top three teams in the league. So we know what what's out there and what to expect. And so my expectations now is for this team to go forward and to uh, do what we're capable of doing. You know, I'm seeing some good stuff in practice, and uh, I'm excited about the what a potential outcome can be. We're talking right now with Coach Sandy Pugh of the Prairie View A&M University Panthers. They're making preparations, as they say, to rebound as they'll get ready to host Arkansas Pine Bluff this Saturday and then Mississippi Valley on Monday. Now, Coach, you look at the overall schematics, and if you know me by now, I focus on team effort as a whole. You know, uh, I don't try to single out individual players. But when you look at your team ranking, you're right up there when it comes defensively, the number three in conference. But as you mentioned, the struggle is on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, looking at your last outing, 33% from the floor is not where you would want to be. You are at a happy medium at 71% from the free throw line. In a perfect scenario, what would you call a solid night from the field? You know, anything above uh, 40% is traditionally considered a solid night. Um, you know, but you have to look at where the shots come from. You know, we're, we're taking uh, a ton of shots. Um, as a result, we're not getting to the free throw line because we're not driving the basketball. Or we're not getting the ball down to the big in, you know, a, enough reps so that they can, you know, be a factor and, uh, get to the free throw line, and that comes back to spacing and passing. So, uh, you know, we're on uh, we're on our guards about where they're delivering the passes, angles, how to deliver the passes, and uh, on our bigs about finishing. So, uh, when you start talking about a percentage, we've had some games where we shot the ball exceptionally well, 
60, 50 percent. It still got me, you know. So uh, that's waiting. It, 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 it's that combination of uh, what else are you doing? You know, you might shoot the ball well tonight, but are, are you know, those instances where you turn the ball over in critical situations or uh, you put them, park them on the free throw line. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of nuances that go into it. Uh, this team has to continue to work toward the level of perfection that's needed for us to sustain uh, a run we need uh, to get back in the hunt of these things. I think this team is, has every ounce of everything it needs to be uh, top tier one or two in the league. You know, we're pushing them, and uh, they're responding. You know, I, nobody gave us the Gramlin win on the road. Nobody gave us to even be in the game at Gramlin but us. You know, we the Gramlin game, you got to figure, we led most of that game. And I think the difference was when no, neither team could score, they got the free throw line. So just little nuances like that that, you know, we, we look at and, and we say to ourselves, we're going to be okay. We just got to keep the thing uh, uh, moving forward. Man, yes, man, we're talking with Coach Sandy Pugh. Of the Prairie View Panthers, they're getting ready to rebound against the Golden Lions, and they'll take on Mississippi Valley on this next home stretch. Now, Coach, I know we're short for time, but I wanted to get your thoughts on the latest announcement from ESPN carrying all levels of the women's basketball uh, tournament starting this March. Well, you know, uh, they used to do that, and then they went away from it. They were doing the wraparound. I know that the WBCA and um, – well, the organizations were really fighting hard to get the, the same amount of respect. You know, people believe in what they see. I think it will greatly increase our fan base. You know, people want to see basketball. It, it, it isn't called March Madness for nothing. People want to see it. They want it. It's a, it's a brand of basketball that is, you know, it, it's below the rim, but it's still exciting. In the movement, uh, some, of, some of the things these young ladies are doing is phenomenal. So it's an exciting time, and we're excited about it. And uh, from a, w, a BCA standpoint and a, a women's basketball coach, I'm excited because I'll get a chance to, you know, hopefully we'll be in it, you know, but if we're not, we'll be cheering for someone else. Okay. Well, we're going to be cheering for you all the time over here at the Open Mic Coach, and I appreciate you always making yourself available and uh, the continued grind, and we know – that it's not where you start, it's where you finish. And right now I'm looking up. The tournament starts today. We're in the tournament. And let's just change our position right now. Let's try to shoot for the top if we can, but at least to host that first round. Oh, yeah, Mike, we'll be in it. I know, I know so well. All right, thank you so much. Coach Sandy Pugh of the Prairie View a &M University Panthers getting ready for the home stretch this weekend starting with Pine Bluff. I am the radio guy, Mike Prince. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back with more of the Mike Prince Show. Reach more potential customers through our sports radio package by dialing 832-213-8824. And welcome back to the Mike Prince Show, Friday Football Edition. We want to thank our sponsors and underwriters that have partnered with us to help us Carry out the message and the vision here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Attorney Lee Van Richardson of Hempstead, Texas. Diva Skin Conditioner. Prairie View Athletic Club. Temple of Refuge Ministries. And Brazos Valley Credit Union. Located at 2038 Mills Road in Waller, Texas. Brazos Valley has several locations to serve you, including Katie. Rosenberg, Brenham, Bryan, and College Station. You can dial a toll-free number at 855-391-2149 for Brazos Valley Credit Union near you. Well, as we heard from Coach Sandy Pugh, the Panthers getting nestled in to try to start the upswing from the women's division of basketball, the men trying to stay on the course. We will stay the course as well. Remind you to listen to our programming over the weekend with the Carlos Brown Show beginning at 10 a.m. to 12 noon on Saturday. The Mike Prince Show live, 9 
p.m. Central Standard Time on Sunday night. I am going to exit stage left for right now as we get ready for the Super Bowl. I still have yet to decide who I'm going to officially ride with, but do believe it's coming real soon. I want to thank you guys so much for joining us over the course of the week. Continue to spread the love. Continue to subscribe to our YouTube channel at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. My time is up. I've got to go. But until the next time, you guys be blessed and we'll see you on the other side. Well, the